In American fishing culture, there is one thing that people do not like, and that is slimy fish. For some reason, fish with a lot of slime on them are labeled as nasty. Another way that fish are judged and classified in American fishing culture is the quality of water that they live in. For instance, if a fish lives in a nice, beautiful, clear lake, it is probably considered a clean fish, such as a walleye or a crappie. But fish that live in muddy backwater areas, such as carp, suckers, and freshwater drum, these fish are classified as bottom feeders or muddy fish and in turn fall under the trash fish umbrella. Well buckle up because today on American Trash Fish we are going to be targeting a fish that is very slimy and lives in muddy water and it also feeds off the bottom. And let me just say this fish is one of my favorite fish to catch. What fish am I going to be talking about today? Well, this fish goes by a number of nicknames. Mudfish, mud pike, dogfish, and swamp trout. But this fish is generally known as the bowfin. Now the bowfin can be found all over the eastern United States and up into Canada. I would describe the bowfin as kind of a cross between an eel and a northern pike. They have a set of very sharp teeth. They also have the unique ability to breathe air. So a lot of times you can see them coming up to gulp air off the surface and they can also use their gills to filter oxygen out of the water. This ability to breathe straight air off the surface allows the bowfin to survive in situations that would be lethal for other fish. That's why the bowfin seem to thrive in more swampy, boggy areas because they have that ability to breathe air off the surface. Now the bowfin has been a new species for me. I caught my first bowfin only last year and let me just say, these fish put up a terrific fight. These fish are very streamlined and very fast and you can definitely feel that on the end of a rod. Got him. Whatever it is, we got him, and it feels good. Bowfin are regarded with kind of a love-hate relationship, at least in my area of Ohio. A lot of anglers like to catch them just for recreational purposes because they put up a good fight. However, on the other hand, there are some people that absolutely hate these things. They think they are a menace. For instance, while I was filming this video, I overheard another angler talking to somebody else, and this angler was fishing for northern pike, and he was complaining that he was just catching bowfin. Apparently, the bowfin were getting in the way of the northern pike, and he was sick of catching them. When it comes to actually eating bowfin, it varies from state to state. For instance, in Ohio, I don't know of anybody that eats bowfin or even keeps them. However, if you go south, like into Louisiana and places like that, there are certain people that will eat bowfin, but by and large, they are not really considered an edible fish. So without further ado, let's take a trip to a muddy creek, put some lines in the water, and see if we can't catch one of these really cool fish. up to the spot where we're gonna be fishing for bowfin. As you can see, it's this little muddy creek right here. This creek is absolutely chock full of bowfin. So we're keeping it simple with bait today. I'm just gonna be fishing some old fashioned night crawlers down on the bottom. I am going to fish with a light, simple bottom rig. I'm gonna start off with a quarter ounce weight right here, then a swivel, and then off the swivel, I'm gonna have about a foot of line and then a small hook. All right, first fish of the day, common carp right there. Definitely considered a trash fish, but not the one that I'm going for. Still a cool fish though.
tons of bites. Finally got one. Alrighty guys, first bowfin of the day. Check this out. Beautiful fish right here. Absolutely incredible. Love the look of these fish. So cool. Kind of a prehistoric vibe going on. Amazing. Okay, just harvested this fish right here. Slit it right here to bleed it out because this is a bloody fish. All right guys, so I just got done filleting the bowfin and honestly it fillets up pretty easily. The scales on these are actually quite hard. It's almost like an armor pattern as you can see. When it comes to actually cutting through the scales, it's a little bit of a challenge. But once I got through the scales, the fish filleted out really, really nice. As far as the meat goes, it is interesting meat, I will say that. Um, as you can see right there, it is more of a darker meat. This is not the darkest meat that I've ever seen come off a of fish. Uh, steelhead trout come to mind. Those have really dark, bloody meat um, and carp obviously have very dark meat as well. So I'm not super worried about the color. The meat itself is actually quite soft. It's not a firm fish, but I'm gonna go ahead and skin these fillets out and then we get on to the cooking. I wanna take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of this video, Euro Tackle. Euro Tackle has sponsored a number of my videos at this point and I have to say, I've thoroughly enjoyed working with them. They make some fantastic products. I've showcased a number of them in past videos. I especially really like the B-Vibe. These are awesome little swim baits. They pair really well with a tungsten jig head. I throw these things so much when I'm fishing small creeks and rivers. They also make these really cool uh, micro crank baits. They also make some bigger size stuff. This is a three inch fat assassin right here. Great for drop shots for smallmouth. So if you really like fishing creeks and rivers, fishing for panfish, crappie, trout, you definitely want to check out Euro Tackle because they have some fantastic offerings. All the products are high quality. Use the promo code right here, Brendan Miller, to get 10% off at Euro Tackle's website. And again, thanks so much to Euro Tackle for sponsoring this video. Okay, so the way I prepared these bowfin fillets, the first thing I did was cut the center line out of the fillets. A lot of people call this the mud line in catfish and other fish. This is basically just a line of fat. Uh, it's darker meat. It doesn't taste very good. So I went ahead and got that out of the way. Then I went ahead and scraped the fillets and I got all this excess fat off as well. Again, that's just going to help the fish taste better. Then I cut the final pieces into little chunks. Then I put seasoned salt, fresh garlic, and flour in a bowl, tossed the pieces in the flour till they got a nice coating, as you can see right there, nice and coated, then straight into some hot oil, fried them up, and boom, there you have it, finished bowfin fillets right here. Let's have a taste. All right, guys, the moment of truth is upon us. I'm about to dive into some bowfin right here to see what it tastes like. Honestly, I'm a little nervous right now just because I'm not sure what to expect with this fish. But without further ado, let's give it a shot. I'm gonna go ahead and start with a thin piece right here. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Okay. That was a thin piece, I'm not throwing up yet. I'm gonna go ahead and try a bigger piece here. Let's see what this tastes like. Bruh. This is totally edible. This is actually quite good. One thing I will say right off the bat, the meat is soft. It's not like a super firm fish, but flavor's great. No muddy flavor, no weird, strong flavor at all. I've had catfish that taste worse than this. This is, this is totally edible. All right, so this is my brother Isaiah. He's gonna go ahead and try some of the bowfin. I recommend that piece right there. Okay. It is softer though, you notice that. 
All right, guys, so I finished stationing the bowfin, and now for my thoughts. So first of all, the texture of the bowfin is different. It definitely has a softer texture. It kind of reminds me, honestly, of a crab cake type of texture just with a piece of fish. Now, one source that I saw online said that you shouldn't wash the fillets with water at all. You should basically pull the fish out of the river, fillet it, and then fry it up. As you saw, I was washing it with water, and they say that that actually makes the fish a little more mushy. But with that in mind, I will say, despite the slightly mushy texture, the flavor is actually quite good. One thing I am noticing though is that because this fish is so oily and fatty, it kind of coats your mouth and kind of leaves a weird feeling in your mouth. It's not really an aftertaste, but I'm pretty sure it's all of that natural fat and fish oil kind of coating your mouth. I'm not gonna lie, it feels a little weird, but nevertheless, I have to say the flavor of the bofin meat is actually quite good. So well, there you have it. When it comes to actually cooking and eating bowfin, they are edible. Uh, I was very surprised, again, by the flavor of the fish. I thought it was pretty good. One thing to keep in mind, I was reading online, and they say that if you catch a big bowfin, there is a possibility that it could have mercury in it. So just keep that in mind. They recommend eating the smaller ones. So what is my final verdict on the bowfin? Well, it turns out they are edible. They taste okay, in my opinion. I was pleasantly surprised by the flavor of the fish. They can be caught a number of different ways. A lot of guys put baits on the bottom. Some people actually fish topwater frogs for them and they say that's a lot of fun. So overall, I don't see the bowfin as a quote unquote trash fish. I think it's just a really cool fish that kind of gets a bad rap because it lives in more muddy areas and because a lot of people that are fishing for northern pike or catfish end up hooking these fish and in turn they get kind of annoyed at them but beyond that the bowfin is definitely a fish that i'm going to be fishing for in the years to come i'm looking forward to doing a lot more fishing for them this summer i want to try and catch a trophy size bowfin this year so stay tuned for that again thank you to euro tackle for sponsoring this video you can check them out in the link in the video description as well as some other affiliate links and stuff down there if you want to support the channel that's a great place to do it thanks again and as always stay hooked i'll see you later